How are you guys doing today? I'm doing great. I'm doing fantastic. I'm great. First time here for you both? Or? First time for me, yeah. First time for me? Yeah. Any impressions so far? The energy. Yeah. The energy. You can just feel it. And it's not even like walking down the street or whatever it is. Like there's this energy of, of excitement. And and love. I, you know, you would think that something as crazy and crowded and you know as this might feel chaotic, but actually we have felt a, a lot of work. From, from our fans, uh, that's, that's quite moving uh, to see that, to feel that. Is this a Kentucky guy? Who these guys are? Yeah, you know, I'm Gorgon, I'm head of the Adelaide military, um, and basically uh, he has these herbs that he got from Terry Genesis. Now, because he's part of the royal family, um, he would have gone down to the mines and become a digger, but because of his position <laughs> in the family, he's head of the military. Um, and, uh, you know, whenever I stomp down, I create uh, this seismic wave of destruction. Uh, and I'm a guy that acts completely off of impulse, uh, which is very, very exhilarating. I played Karnak. Uh, Karnak, <laughs> this Terra Genesis gave him the ability to see the flaw. Everything and everyone, the debate, uh, the physical structure, um, the weakness in your, in your, on your body when he's fighting you. Um, it makes him the perfect strategist and advisor to the king. Uh, last night you saw uh, your powers for the first time in some of the footage. Could you talk about some of the things, some of your favorite things you might be able to do with your character's powers that you think fans <laughs> that you think fans will enjoy? Uh, oh, that's why he's so good. Yeah. I just I stomp down and the ground below me breaks and shatters and people fly away. <laughs> That's amazing. Just in itself. Um, and especially seeing it just all together. And then after that, going off and fighting and, and having the strength, it's, I'm like a kid. It, it, it's the funnest thing. Um, I've gotten to do things in the show I don't, I'm not ordinarily, I don't ordinarily get to do. So kind of all of it is just thrilling. And I don't want to say, I don't want to get into too many details, but I've also developed kind of a, 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 an appreciation for stunt teams. You know, because I don't ordinarily do that, I don't really come in contact with stunt teams so often. And this show kind of changed that. And there's just a, this brotherhood, there's this looking out for each other for obviously safety reasons and whatnot. Um, um, it, it's really, uh, it's really good. What's it like, like doing your powers, knowing that they're going to be put in post? You know, like acting it out and imagining what is. I mean, was it awkward at first? Um, I mean, we we have an idea of how they're going to put it together at the end, but I mean, you, you, you do you do very specific steps, you know, you do them to the best of your ability and you need to do it. You know. And I could also say there's different amounts of effects, you know, it's not only visual, there's also part of techniques, so, you know, that helped with mine, so it's like, I literally got to visualize the ground and all this other stuff, which was a great visual, visual visualization. Uh, to know exactly the impact of what I was doing. So, with such fantastic characters, um, how what inspirations do you pull from to keep your character sort of grounded in something that's three dimensional? I think for me, it's like I, no matter who you are, even if you have superpowers or anything, 
they all have to start from a place of being grounded. Um, and then you kind of, for me, add the other stuff on top of that. Um, you know, in regards to even Gorgon, not Gorgon, sorry, Gorgon. <laughs> me, I play Gorgon. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, you know, I just feel that there's a lot of similarities between Gloria and I, so it's like, you know, I keep going off of the fact that being able to act off of impulse, you know what I mean, and just starting there, um, for me. Are you guys reading any of the comics to prepare for the role, or are you taking your own approach to the characters? I read, um... There's a Karnak series, wow. one analysis. I read that, but we were told to. I mean, I read that just for myself because I didn't know anything about uh, this. Movie. So, just as a just as a germ of something. Two weeks. Basically, I about uh, two and a half weeks before I had to fly out from LA to Hawaii, and I talked to Jeff, and I was like, "Hey." Um, do you want to do any research with the comics or the internet? And he's like, stay away from the internet and the comics done with it. <laughs> and I listened to him, and I didn't. Um, I did not. I looked at one photo that was online, um, and I saw a sketch and different stuff like that. And I kind of went off of that slate, and I just kind of just let go. I put a lot, of, I put trust in, you know, uh, directors who I think are just absolutely amazing, and, and a team um, uh, with Marvel, and kind of just went from there. Yeah. Uh, could you, could you uh, talk about the advantages of shooting a story like this in Hawaii? Because I know you worked on a TV show in Hawaii before. Uh, it, it was it was beautiful. I mean, it was uh, on one hand it is Hawaii, so it was like a homecoming. But on the other hand, we shot on the leeward side. Which I almost never went to during Lost. We did everything on the windward side and the north and stuff. Um, so it was it was familiar and new at the, at the same time. Um, and I I have a deep uh, kind of love for for the islands. And for me, I. I'm so glad that we're able to film on an isolated spot, kind of for me, just away from the first season, uh, away from Los Angeles and in Hawaii, because I felt that it really brought, brought the cast and the crew together like a family, and it just really brought us together, and it really just, you know, had that focus and, you know, that energy and that feel. Like, it's, it's one of the shows that I could say from top to bottom from every single position every single person was so personable and so amazing to work with it was so good so beautiful thank you thank you